Hi everyone, I'm Soumya, an associate software engineer and an educator. In this video, I will talk about some interesting things that nobody talks about a software engineer. Globally, more than 55% of the software engineers use JavaScript as the main language and at number 2 is Java. In this video, I will share some interesting things that nobody tells you about software engineers. I love being a software engineer. Coding is fun. The knowledge needed to get into this domain is indeed interesting. Yet there are plenty of things that I didn't know about this profession before getting into the IT industry which you must know. So let's get started. New technologies and frameworks. Based on an American survey, we software engineers spend more than 50% of our time in learning new technologies and frameworks. This percentage is much more than the average percentage of any other profession. So the learning curve in our profession is really very high. When we start as a beginner in the first year of engineering, we often feel that IT industry or maybe tech domain is all about those industry standard languages like Java, C++ or Python. But the reality is it is much more than that. When you join the IT industry, you get to explore a lot many technologies so many things are there apart from these basic languages. That is just the beginning of getting into tech. When I started my software engineering internship at Red Hat, Golang was one such language about which I didn't know. But I was given some tasks around it. So certainly it might happen that when you get into the IT industry, you will hear about many new technologies, many new frameworks like Jenkins is there, React Native. Might be that in the college you were very much focused into one tech stack but now you might be asked to work on to explore more technologies. So one thing which you should make sure is keep yourself open to learn new technologies. When you are in the IT sector, don't confine yourself to just one programming language or one technology. Even if you are very much into mobile application development, might happen that in the college days you were very much into mobile application development or just java language or kotlin language but don't just confine yourself to these tech stack if you join any organization any mnc or a startup as a software engineer you might be asked to work on a different set of technologies as well in that case keep yourself open to learn and understand other technologies as well that will help you only to understand more things in the tech industry that will help you in keeping your learning curve higher. Documentation Software engineering is much more than just writing code. In most of the organizations, writing documentation is highly encouraged. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say there is a third party dependency and that too a Gradle dependency to build and you are a senior software engineer who know that okay this is the process to build this third party gradle dependency if you know the entire process but you don't document it if you just keep it in your brain it might happen that later maybe when you are on vacation or when you leave the organization the other team members will find it difficult to do the gradle build of that particular dependency so it's very much encouraged to do the documentation of any task any work you do it will help in knowledge transferring to other team members. If there are new joinees in your team, if there is new intern, you can just share the doc for the knowledge transfer. For the new open source projects, you can't really imagine the project without a proper documentation. They have the installation guideline where step by step they tell in detail, okay, these are the steps with the help of which you can download the open source project in your local machine. There is detailed contribution guideline as well, without which a newbie, a person cannot really make contribution to that particular project. So in our tech domain, documentation is something of high significance. You should make sure if you are working on a new feature, if you are working on something significant, you do document it so that your other team members can later read it and the knowledge can be transferred. The documentation also helps you in keeping everything organized. Presentation. Apart from documentation, your presentation skill also matters a lot if you are a software engineer or someone in the tech industry. As a software engineer, you have to communicate with your team what is the progress on the project, what are the tasks you have done, what are the to-dos, 
and for all these things it's significant that you are communicating your thoughts effectively with your team members with your juniors especially in the one on one calls with the manager you should have a decent understanding of what to say how to say in any profession if you are a good orator you will certainly become successful having good presentation skill will help you in the client meetings as well so apart from the coding interviews your effective communication skill will be very much helpful in your day to day job as a software engineer when you are a good communicator you know how to effectively share your thought with the other person and that really helps a lot read programming books as freshers software engineers often feel done with studying as they graduate but the truth is actual learning begins when you join the tech industry you work on some real world big projects which already million and billion of people are using you get to explore lot many new technologies and frameworks i will be sharing four awesome programming books which you must read once in a while this is the very first book which i want to recommend to you all data structure and algorithm made easy by narsimha this book is one of the favorites of all the programmers if you want to get placement by the end of your engineering or if you want to do software engineering internships then certainly data structure and algorithm is something which will be often asked in most of the top tech companies dsa is a very significant round to clear the concept of data structure and algorithm you can prefer reading this book the second programming book is cracking the coding interview by macdowell this programming book is really very famous amongst the coder if you are going to give coding interview you might practice from this book it has well curated list of 189 programming questions and their solution which might help you in your tech interview computer science with c++ by sumita arora is the next book and it's one of my favorites this was one of the first programming books that i read it helped me clarify all the basic concepts of programming like for loop while loop how classes work and all other basic things of object oriented programming language this book has two parts we had this in our 11th and 12th grade as well i personally loved this book if you want to start your programming journey with the help of c++ programming language then you should certainly check it out if you want to learn the concept of android app development or maybe ios programming with the help of a book then big nerd ranch guide is one of the books that i would suggest for that writing code is a very small portion of what we software engineers do on daily basis as a software engineer we have to create the entire road map of the project we create issues we work on them apart from writing code we have to create the design documents get it approved we write tests like j unit etc we deploy the code and there is a lot more that we do as a software engineer so if we say writing code that's really just a small portion of the work that we do we attend meetings we do team sync ups we have one on one calls with the like leadership teams managers so there is a lot more that goes behind the scene learning a skill is one thing but getting the interview call especially off campus is a bit difficult when we talk about interviews resumes is something which comes first in our mind Let's get into the laptop and see how we can make a ATS friendly resume. The very first thing that you need to take care of make your resume visually enticing. Don't use too many fancy colors. Keep it simple and classic. That will help your resume get better attention from the hiring managers from the recruiters. Make sure that you are using the apt keyword in your resume. If you are applying for software engineering role Make sure similar keywords which a recruiter will look for in a software engineer you put those keywords because the ATS friendly resume is that resume which is having the right set of keywords the recruiters the hiring managers use lot many softwares for screening the resume before a human being reads your resume it goes through a machine it goes through a software so make sure you are using the right set of keywords which they the hiring managers the recruiters would be setting up to shortlist the right kind of resumes next thing apart from the keywords that you need to take care of is make sure your resume is 6 seconds worthy don't put too many extra things don't write too many long paragraphs in your resume make sure it's short and crisp because if any person is going to hire 
then is not going to spend more than 6 second on an average in your resume if there is something you feel they should notice make sure you have written that in bold if you have got some achievement if you have got some scholarship award in your domain make sure you have highlighted that thing make sure you have that thing written in bold that will really leave a good impact these are some of the significant components which you should take care of when you are making the resume the very first component is name after your name make sure you have those basic details like contact and everything i will be giving the link of a basic template which you can use to make your resume in the contact you can give basic stuff like your professional email your linkedin id and all like coding profiles if you are applying for software engineering roles apart from that the next section is profile or about section in this section make sure you give a gist of a summary of what are the achievements that you have done in your professional career i would advise to complete this section the profile the about section once you have written the entire resume after that you have the work experience section where you will write the projects the internships whatever you have done if you have participated in any hackathon you can mention the details of that particular project which you made in that particular hackathon you can also mention the open source projects that you contributed to make sure that you add the link to the pull request to the issues that you worked upon that will leave a good impact that will help the managers that will help the interviewer in checking that okay this candidate has really made some contributions he or she will be able to like go to that link and see your code as well and that's the beauty of open source projects i mean whatever code you write whatever work you have done anyone can see that right and the next thing you can mention the education details after the education section you can mention the achievement section moving ahead these are some of the pointer that you should take care of in your resume try to be a bit specific let's say if you have got some award any scholarship so instead of just writing got selected for techx program make sure you give the background among how many attendees among how many participants were you selected what was the detail of the scholarship or the program for example as you can see the first is statement is just saying got selected for techx program on the other hand the second statement is giving a detail like selected as one of the 150 participants worldwide for a 3 month technical skills and professional development program that is techx based on the academic performance leadership skill and community involvement so in the second statement if you notice it is helping the interview it is helping the person in understanding that okay this candidate was shortlisted out of these many number of total candidates and these were the skill which were given a lot many significance for selecting that particular candidate if you want you can take a screenshot of this slide and feel free to use these words instead of using those gap filling words like hard working good orator etc so these are some of the important tips which i feel you should take care when you are making your resume the summary is there are always two sides every decision in life and career should be taken considering both the sides The shift from college to corporate is full of adventures. You have a lot many interesting things to explore. I hope this video will be helpful for you in understanding more about software engineering. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you have any queries, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we will be happy to answer them.